Hiya, this is my weighing results video for week 285 on my weight loss journey. I have, it's over five and a half years. I've been with WW for over four and a half years. Before that, I was with Slimming World for around about eight months. I lost around seven stone six with them and I've lost the rest with Weight Watchers, WW, sorry. I weighed in last week at 12 stone 7.8 and i've weighed in this week at 12 stone 9.6 so i've gained 1.8 pounds out of absolutely nowhere i'm a daily weigher no i shouldn't do it but i do it anyway and in fact i'm quite happy that i'm a daily weigher i know my weight fluctuates i know it fluctuates quite a lot um and if I'd have weighed in today and had that gain, I really wouldn't have been happy. It probably would have knocked me off course. However, because I'm a daily weigher, I understand my fluctuations. I knew on Saturday this was coming. I weighed in Saturday morning and I'd gained like four pounds out of nowhere. <laughs> out of absolutely nowhere. And I think, in fact, I'd on the Thursday and the Friday, I'd only, I'd stuck to my 30 dailies. So I hadn't even used any weekly. So it wasn't been like, oh, I've used weeklies. That's because I've done it. Not that it makes any difference, it really doesn't. I can use weeklies and lose two pounds. My weight loss has no rhyme or reason. So I thought, oh right, I've gained four pounds. Absolutely fantastic. So in fact, I've lost a little bit since Saturday. So that's good. Um, it's hormones, that's all it is. Got a bit of a bloat. My stomach was huge. My trousers were tight when I put them on on Monday. My work trousers, that's always, that always tells me what I need to know when I put my work trousers on and they're sh taking the strain. I, yeah, used all my dailies, used all my weekly, stuck to plan. It's just one of them things. I could go, do you know what, let's go and eat. Do you know what, I feel really bad so I'm just going to stuff my face. In the grand scheme of things that's really not going to help me at all because i'm going to step on the scales tomorrow and i'll probably gain like five or six pounds and i know that i've then got to try and lose that hopefully it'll be off by next week knowing my luck the way that my scales have been going it'll probably i'll probably have another gain next week it's one of them things it's just about trying to look at the bigger picture and i know it's really difficult when you have a gain or when you stay the same and you know you've stuck to it and you've known you you know you've done everything that you possibly can to get a loss that week and it doesn't happen but it's it's this is a lifetime thing for me so if i just went if the scales if i ate or i chucked in the towel every time those scales didn't do what I wanted them to do I would have given up an awful long time ago now because it happens all the time I've had months of plateaus I've had I've had weeks where I've put a stone on because I've had a massive hormonal blow and I've put on loads of weight and I've still gone and my initial thought is right I'm going to go and I'm going to go and have a McDonald's I'm going to go it's and then it hits me what is that going to help that's not going to help me now it's not going to help next week's way in. it's definitely not going to help next week's way in so it's literally the only thing that i can do is just carry on it's a lifestyle change it's not a diet if i i eat pretty much what i want okay i have to like i have to jiggle my points around during the week to have something really nice but i can pretty much eat what i want within reason and it's about trying to to make those changes to make it a lifestyle change i have days off if i want a day off i'm have i'll have a day off but i'm still not at that point where i'm going to want a day off yet i have been on plan now since the 20 the last day off i had was 23rd of august i haven't reached the point where i've got point fatigue and that is a thing and i know other people have talked about it as well you just get to the point where you go i just don't want to point today i've just got to the point where it's up to here and i just can't be bothered to point you do get point fatigue sometimes having a day off just gives you a little bit of a break straight back on it the next day that's what i do and it works for me it's it's finding the strategies that work for you and putting them in place it, it is trial and error it very much is trial and error when it comes to weight loss and you'll have day you'll have weeks where you have a major massive loss and it'll be brilliant and then the next week you'll you'll stay the same or you'll gain 
or you'll have a couple of good losses in a row and then you'll gain or you'll stay the same it's just the way it is and it's just about going it's about stepping back at, the, at those moments and going what is going to help this situation me eating and me doing this is not going to help all I can do is carry on and do what I've always done and what I what I know works for me and that's just what I do so anyway I'm hoping for a loss next week it's one of them things it probably won't happen um, I hope so but it's one of them hopefully my bloat will go and my trousers are feeling loose already so that's always good but if you do stay the same or you do gain and it's out of nowhere then just stick with it the scale will move eventually they do move in the right direction so hope you're having a great week take care and stay safe see you later bye